Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review of Iron Man Issue 2. And this was another pretty good issue. Um, we got a little bit of background on Korvac. Uh, we got Tony kind of dealing with more of kind of what he's attempting to do. And just a little bit more movement on the plot front. So we see in the beginning that it's like one year ago and we see that the Korvac guy is dealing with what's going on this one dude in the enclave is like all right adam four how you doing i'm feeling he's like you call me my real name korvac and he's like what do you want me to do pretty much make the enclave make a better earth and he's like that's very limited and very area than you humans to just think of the earth what about a universe a better reality and all that it's like no 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 we want to we want you to use your superior intellect to pretty much do what we want to like, yeah i can see pretty much choking his ass out and being like, yeah, you kind of like screwed over everything here. So, even with all these beings that claim to be gods, you're godless and lost. Maybe I will make myself into the god that you guys need and do that with the reality. It's like, oh shit, as he takes the glasses and everything, he's like, all right, let's kind of see how this goes. We switch over to Tony and evidently he got tricked by Arcade into doing something in Murder World, pretty much fighting uh, Absorbing Man in pretty much a death fight and no granted i'm thinking uh wasn't absorbing man pretty much mm, not completely into hero status but pretty much not being an asshole to most people but we see that he like gets to tony pretty much absorbs the power of the armor like not just like the metal in the armor as well as the power and he like kind of gets him down into a position like listen man i don't really want to do this but this is the only way to see my wife again and like, yeah, I kind of get you there. And the fight scenes are done pretty well. I really am digging the art style because in an Iron Man comic and anything dealing with Iron Man, you have to hit two important things. You have to be able to do people well and armor well. You get those two together, and it works very well. And I love damn armor. <laughs> it just looks so pretty. And just, it's beauty in motion. It's just like, all right, yeah, you really want that in action scenes, and you just see Tony's trying to figure out what's going on with it and what he can kind of do. He's like, all right. Uh, he pretty much gives Creole a little bit. He doesn't really smack him around, but he's able to kind of get some hits in, but he's able to figure out that uh, Arcade is the referee and pretty much amass him and kind of stops the things. Like, yeah, they're pretty much rooting for him. So he's pretty much taking a chill kind of moment with uh, Hellcat afterwards. She's trying to teach him to meditate, but he's still going on the fact of like, yeah, I could have beaten Creole and everything. And she's like, no, you were getting your ass kicked you knew what Arcade was going to be doing and you let yourself get captured and get your ass kicked pretty much on TV. Why are you doing that? And he's like, uh, pretty much stayed away from the point. But of course, his helmet rings and we find out that a medical villain, Cardiac, has kidnapped uh, Stark employees and is holding them hostage. He's like, uh, can you help me here? So as he's flying off to that, he's pretty much trying to ruminate on what he is. Now granted, he does have to kind of ruminate on that because his consciousness was digital, he had his body regrown, he's even wondering what Iron Man as a concept is, and it's really funny because he's thinking about all these things and he's actually talking about it over the comms with Hellcat. She's like, what the, what are you talking about? And he's like, uh, nothing, nothing, sorry. And he pretty much gets there, dude ranting about the healthcare system and everything, and I'm like, yeah, 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 okay, there's problems with the healthcare system, but you don't really f fix that or send a message by, well, I don't know, taking the employees and murdering them? That, uh, no, 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 yeah, nope, so he's just going, rah, with his, like, death stick of doom. I'm like, interesting, because I've never really heard of Unicorn, uh, or Cardiac, and I'm like, I'm glad seeing these weird kind of villains. And it just kind of works. So, Tony's like, yeah, I kind of need your help, Hellcat. And she's like, yeah, I'm getting there. She pretty much starts dealing with a uh, Cardiac, and he figures out what's going on with this very super villainy plot. Uh, he is taking the Stark employees and put them in a giant ball so they can suffocate. And it's made out of uh, vibranium, adamantium, some iron and everything. No, granted, not big chunks. It's not like a whole orb of vibranium. You have to fucking knock over Wakanda to fucking get that done. So it's got some vibranium, some adamantium, pretty much enough to make it so that way it's really hard to get into that thing. So Tony pretty much is like, all right, boss, figure out the velocity I need, and pretty much uses himself as a battering ram. 
and like breaks a lot of stuff and pretty much almost kills himself and he's able to get through and there's like oh thank god and the hellcat's like you okay he's like am i dying am i dead and of course we then see him in the hospital and she's like you really why are you doing this shit and like should i give him your insurance info he's like i'm pretty much uninsurable so this will be out of pocket it's like yeah uh pretty much commenting on the fact of like everything that he's able to do because of his wealth and everything that he's got almost pretty much like giving himself more power and having kind of a god complex but he's like i kind of wanted to do something heroic and prove that he was still here it's like oh you wanted to reduce all your moral complexity down to like one heroic act to get you pretty much a statue in central park kind of shit it's like Neh. kind of but not really because it's interesting kind of seeing tony kind of grapple with all the different kind of aspects of himself in this comic and I'm really intrigued to see where that goes. But before they can go delve even deeper into that, alarm start buzzes. It's like, oh shit, unicorns escaping probably. It's like, they're both in the same hospital? Holy crap. And of course, uh, Hellcat tries to go out and get, to, get him, but she uh, gets like punched out by him. He's like, my, the one true god calls to me through the electricity. And it's like, okay. All right. And as he then runs away, it's like, wow, that's definitely a place to end it on so i'm like all right we'll have to see how this works out and uh tony was also commenting about what was going on with like cardiac trying to be present himself in a better light I'm like yeah we both lost our hearts but uh only one of us has lost our soul and he's like what the fuck's going on with that that was an important bit because it's like going on with what's <laughs> how he's being viewed and what's going on with that so can't wait to see what kind of pops up next what kind of strange ass villain goes on and how they kind of have to deal with unicorn going like shouting crazy shit and what Korvac's trying to do and how Iron Man and Hellcat are going to stop him. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe and I hope you have a good day.